Chris, congratulations. Thank Another you. new contract for Rovers. You must be pleased to get that over and done with before the end of this season. Yes, yeah, nice, yeah. Um, obviously, last year was a bit different. It went on to the end, but um, yeah, nice. To, always nice to <clears throat> to get stuff sorted before the end, so I can really concentrate on the last 10 games now and and not have to worry through the summer that you know what what I'm going to do next. Um, so yeah, it's nice. It's a nice feeling, and obviously I'm I'm happy to be staying. I mean, you're a Rovers man through and through, so I guess there wasn't too much to think about <coughs> other than the the contract details. Uh, no, not really. No, um, I obviously I, I signed a year last year, so I knew it was going to be an important season for me back in League One as well. Sort of where I've played most of my games, so it's important that I prove that. I was still up to it at this level and I think I've done that and maybe more so it's been a great season so far and now that I've got this sorted it, you know I look forward to the last 10 games and you know seeing what we can achieve and also looking forward to next season as well. And I, I, would you credit Daryl Clark with, with the way your game I think has improved since you've returned a couple of years ago? Yeah it's, it's you know it's I'm obviously a lot older now, so it's, it's a little bit of experience. Yeah, no, a little bit of experience has come my way since from leaving from before. You know, I was a young lad back then, and a lot's changed in my life in general. So, yeah, I've, you know, I've got a lot to thank the gaffer for. He's he's been great since I've been back. Um, I didn't know a lot about him, and I don't really think he knew a lot about me when I did come back. So it's it's been good to to start working together, and you know, it's been two very successful years. So it's something that. I've enjoyed and you know I'm, I'm potentially playing some of the best football I have in my career this year so it's it's nice and like I say we'll see what happens the rest of the season now. Yeah you said that I mean I, I think uh, I've been impressed with the defensive side of your yeah. game as well as the attacking side you seem to be an all, all um, more complete all-round player. Yeah I've you know I've never been a defensive the defensive side head in attacking has never been my strong point but it's it's something that the gaffer gaffer now is, is sort of continue to go on and on at me about and you know it is it does get a reaction out of me because I, I don't I want to you know I want to prove him wrong that I can do it so I think that's one thing that that he has helped me massively is you know that extra 10% they talk about before games him and Marcus about you know players that perhaps like me and, and Billy and the wingers and people like that who need to sometimes pull their sleeves up and do the grind and I think we have done that and you know, it's, it's something that he, he's installed into us and it's probably the reason we've been so successful. Do you, do you think this squad can go on and, and be more successful than they have been in the last couple of years? I mean, yeah. You've you yeah. uh, come right from, from conference. We just seem to keep improving. It's, you know, it's, it's so surprising to see, you know, week in, week out, we, you know, we just seem to keep better in ourselves, which is, is a great sign. I think Bolton away the other night was a massive, massive statement from us as to how far we have come in the past few years you know not many teams will go there and do that to them and I, you know I think I've read a few bits even for their supporters were surprised you know how good we were so it's a massive compliment to to be able to do that and it's it is a massive massive improvement from you know my first game back we were playing Halifax away <laughs> in, a, in a pig field so um to go to Bolton away, you know, not even two years after is, is incredible and just shows, you know, what a great bunch of lads, you know, a great manager, a great staff and, you know, I'm sure all the fans are happy with the way it's going right now. And, and well, you've, you're on an unbeaten run of eight at the moment, yeah. uh, six draws admittedly, but against some of the best sides in the division, Bolton being one of them. So oh, yeah. but the way the, the games have gone recently has been uh, fantastic. Yeah, as, yeah, like you say, we haven't, you know we haven't we haven't lost in eight. We've we've drew quite a few, but when you look back at the teams we have played and drawn against, this, you know if you you look at if you, you spread those games out and we get a point against those teams any any other time in the season, no one really says anything. But I think that win at Oxford on the weekend turns all those draws into into very good points, and you know it gives us a nice nice little platform now over the 50 points, which which was always the target and. There's another 30 points available, you know, so we've got to just try and get as many as we can. And I think I read something that we need 12 or 13 more to, to beat the record for the last 20 years or whatever. So that's got to be a little target we can set ourselves. And, you know, if we can get anywhere near that, it's, it's an unbelievable achievement in our first year back with probably 90% 90, 90 players that have not even played in this league before. 
Good time to be at the club, I would imagine, as a player, with um, exciting things off the field as well as on the field. Yes, it is good. Yeah, it's, you know, there's always since I was a young lad, there's always been talk of stadiums and training grounds, and it's never quite sort of materialised. So now with the new owners, it's good to see they're on the front foot. You know, they're they're planning stuff. The infrastructure's getting better, and hopefully, I can I can be a part of playing at the new stadium and seeing the new training ground so hopefully it gets done sooner than later yeah. <laughs> have you got ambitions of how long you want to play and i mean you're, you've reached the magic age of 30 yeah. you? so it, it's not old in football in terms but you're, you're experienced now and you, you can help the younger generation come through yeah I'd, you know i'll play for as long as i can it's it's one of them where see how long your body can take you but yeah i'm, I'm feeling good i'm probably feeling better than i than i have done previously so I think there's there's plenty of life left in me yet so yeah I'll uh, I'll carry on that and yeah obviously you know it's, it'll be nice to see some more young lads coming through you know from from the youth team and stuff is there's, there's not been many of us there's, it's good to see obviously at the moment this is probably the most kind of local you say players that have has come through the youth team you know me and Ollie playing in midfield together it's, it's great and I think you know the fans obviously like to see the the local talent coming through so It'll be good, yeah. I can always, I can always hold them out because I've, I've been through, you know, the, the youth setup and had to wait my time. So, yeah, in terms of playing, I'll just, I'll just carry on trudging along as long as I can, yeah.